A follow-up now to our Target 12 investigators' exclusive costly crime. We told you last night about the skyrocketing number of catalytic converter thefts in Rhode Island. New at 5, a state lawmaker says he wants to introduce stronger legislation to crack down on the market for these stolen parts. Target 12 investigator Steph Machado is here now with the update. Steph? Shannon, we got a big response to our report last night with so many Rhode Islanders falling victim to this crime. One of the potential solutions is going after the businesses that buy stolen converters. Surveillance video shows how quickly thieves can steal a catalytic converter from under your car. These men stole Justin Boyan's converter from his driveway on College Hill on Halloween. And it took them a minute and 20 seconds. The one guy jacks up the car, other guy comes around, makes his two cuts, and then they're driving away. Unfortunately, people are continuing to steal catalytic converters, and we need to show that they will not have an outlet to, to sell them. State Representative Joseph Solomon from Warwick sponsored a bill this year that became law in June. It requires scrap metal businesses to collect identifying information from anyone that sells them a converter and a copy of either the registration or the VIN number of the car the converter came from. The Attorney General's office, which licenses precious metal dealers, is tasked with enforcing the new law. A spokesperson says they are checking, but so far they have not taken action against any business for violating it. Solomon says he wants to tighten the law to require more enforcement. There's no question that these businesses should be collecting this information. And if we have to even increase the penalties, we'll absolutely increase the penalties and make it criminal for these businesses to accept what they should think is stolen property. Target 12 gathered data from 37 police agencies in Rhode Island, showing five years ago in 2017, there were just eight catalytic converter thefts reported statewide. This year so far, there's already 1,466. Police say it's hard to make arrests. Thieves often cover their faces, and even if caught with converters, it's difficult to prove which car they belong to. So it's not enough to just put someone in prison. We need to go after the people who are actually accepting catalytic converters that know that they know are stolen. Rep Solomon says he plans to introduce updated legislation in the next session that starts in January. He said he will work with the AG's office to help them enforce the law and hopefully cut down on the number of thefts. I'm Steph Machado, 12 News.